Hey everyone, this is Rish and welcome back to my channel. Today we are attempting another battleground. Let's see who we are against today. If you're on the list, drop me a comment and let me know. So basically I decided to do another battleground video because I had a lot of comments like this about not using teleport in my build so i have swapped out scorch for teleport and we're going to see if it works any better if it works well i'm not convinced but we're going to try it out i'm also going to break down the build and the essences that i've used at the end of the battleground as well for you all to see as you can see as well we are on attack today and not defense so i'm not sure how this build is going to work but hopefully it will help me get away because that is what everyone has said so let's go, let's do this and see what happens. I'm just gonna run down the map and away from the Guardian to get to the next one. Oh, they have just defeated it. But we have a nice clear path here to get through to the next zone. And let's hope that we can get there without dying. I'm getting this person attacking me. A little bit of stun going on. Can we get away? Health is getting pretty low. Let's just hope for the best. And they're down. Thankfully, another teammate came along and kicked their butt. Um, there's a lot of blood knights from what I can see on the opposition team, which is not a good thing. Um, let's just grab some potions while I can and hope I don't die before we get through. So I'm pretty sure this guy defending is trying to stay this side of the barrier so that he can kill people on spawn. Um, but let's hope one of my teammates gets them. Um, just gonna use some more bandage before we continue. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure they're holding back so they can kill people on spawn point. That's obviously why they put this barrier up in battleground to stop that happening. But it doesn't always happen. So let's just try and awaken this idol before I get killed. And no, everyone's coming at me. And I am dead. Teleport is not really saving me so far. But let's see if it gets any better. So I'm just going to hold back for a second because I don't want to teleport out and then be stunned to death or just attacked and killed straight away and um, let's go through here and i think there's enough teammates to maybe kill this person yep i think we're all good let's use some bandage and continue escorting the idol um like i said i kind of feel a bit weak not having damage and especially when you've got more than one blood knight coming at you at once um but yeah dead again teleport is not saving me yet and um i'm losing damage by not having a skill equipped i'm also last in my team which is not normal for me um but yeah we'll continue we'll keep pushing forward and see what happens stunned and then killed that's the only thing that <laughs> frustrates me in battleground when you get stunned and then you can't do anything you can't use any skills including teleport you can't teleport away if you're stunned and yeah this is not going good so far my starfire shard activated there and i think scared him away maybe um I can still see there are red dots moving towards us on the mini-map, but hopefully we can move forward with this idol a little bit further. And that's what I hate to see, the <laughs> ice crystal and disintegrate and also multiple blood knights coming at me and once again, dead. Who would have guessed it? And look at that, doing really badly for my team as well. So I'm going to move to this side and try and move with this idol because it seems to be moving quicker and there are less red dots on the minimap as well. Nice touch to get a kill there, but here is the ice crystal that you know I hate. Um, am I going to get them first? No, it looks like they're using the same essence on teleport as me and more blood knights. And once again, dead. My teleport did not save me. I managed to get away, but not fast enough. Also quickly, just to show you when I get this revive, my stats, I only have 11k damage in battleground and 130k life. Whereas in open world, I have 16k damage and almost 
200k life so that makes it a lot harder um, got a nice kill streak here, three kill streak. That is probably the most I'm going to get with this build. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see why I use more of a tanky build that gives more damage than actually giving me a skill that lets me escape. See, I'm dead again. And I don't always get the chance to use the teleport and teleport away. Um, but the previous build that I was using in my other video, it was just damage, constant damage. And um, yeah, replacing scorch with teleport i don't think was that great for me someone's starfire shard activated there don't know who that was because there's no way they could have got over the barrier but there we go let's hope we can move further on without dying this time Now, it's given the wizard that kill, but I'm pretty sure the Blood Knight on the other team is high rezo because every time he steps near me, I'm just instantly dead. Um, he's using a really good build. I know a friend that uses some similar skills in Battleground as well on their Blood Knight character. Um, gonna swap sides again and try my luck there, but I can see suddenly all my team are dead, which is not a good sign. So I'm going to try and teleport over the enemy and attack from behind. This guy's kind of standing here. Oh god, it's another blood knight and there's two of them coming at me again. I'm not going to have a chance to get away. I have no teleport left. Yeah, great. This is going really well. So let's just take a look at how we're doing. We are now somehow second from the top for kills and everything. Obviously that is not our objective on the team, but with the people that we're against, we're having to really push through and try our hardest to get rid of them because they are a strong team that are on defense today. Once again, trying to teleport away, but skills like that, when you have disintegrate against you, even when you teleport, depending on what essences they're using on it, you just can't get far enough away from them. We now have less than a minute left of this match and I do not think we're gonna win. The idols have hardly moved. Um, the team that is defending is super strong. Um, I think they have three possibly four blood knights on their team and when they gang up on you it's just impossible to move i've managed to sneak over here and there aren't any enemies around at the moment um there's no defenders approaching us so hopefully we can push it forward but i still don't think it's going to be quick enough and i can see on the mini map someone is now coming to kick our butts from both directions as well this guy had to come in and kill me in the last second just to get one more kill cherry on top of this match um teleport did not save my butt once um and you can see it was not the best match um it was defeat and just to be fair to this build i did test out with two other battlegrounds which these are the results so still not that great and still two more defeats so i will not be using it again um but let me just go through the essences i used in case anyone wants to die loads in battleground as well so i only swapped out two essences for this build on the helm we went for mask of illusions so teleport now causes you to become invisible and leave behind a mirror image teleport cooldown reduced by 3.6 percent this is great for causing confusion on the team that you're against and then on the off hand we went for blaster cast so magic missile now fires two additional missiles each doing 2746 damage and damage is increased by 90 percent so everything else is the same as on my previous video so you can check that build out um i think it was the video before this and just to go through again in case you didn't catch in back Background. this is what it looks like so it gives you a firestorm build you've got the arcane torrent with those missiles firing everywhere and we have the teleport with the mirror image i mean didn't really work for me but i hope you found this video helpful or at least amusing and have a good day